Uh, welcome everybody to the Friday morning warm up. And uh, here we are again. Still a few more before I'm not going to mention oh, I'm going to mention Christmas because I started the sentence. So I've got to really, haven't I? Uh, <laughs> a few more to go. And as always, we're going to do a, a little bit of a short clap and then warm up the instruments and then play through um, a scale and some rhythmic patterns and a bit of chord strumming at the end to, to wind down. And um, the scale today is the blues scale. It's concert D blues. And so we'll be, I think you'll all be ready for that. Good. Right, let's just start with the clap. And um, nice and easy today. I th we've done one, two trickier ones. Let's just go to something straightforward. If you want to just sort of, I know it's a bit new age, but if you want to just sort of shake your hands and get the blood moving into your um, fingers, always a good thing to do. Anyway, the new age was the 1990s. It's now the old age. So here we go. Right. We have on the screen four bars that we're going to clap. Uh, beat one in the first bar, uh, beats one and three in the second bar, so we're dividing it into two. Then we're going to do a triplet on bar three, and uh, so three claps, so we're dividing that bar into three, and then on the fourth bar, you're dividing it into four. So that'll be just on every beat. So let's just clap to that. I'll get the metronome going. You can tap your feet left, right, left, right, left, right. Ooh, I always thought it was a bit quick. It's some running down the street. Here we go. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Just follow me if you're not sure about those rhythms. And uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. Now two. One, two, three. Now triplet. Every beat. And start again. Two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Clap, tap. Bump. Four, four. One, two, three, four. One. One. Triplet. Last time round and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and finish. Bang. Okay, good. Um, okay, let's move on and we're now going to warm up the instruments and so to do this I was, I'm just going to play some uh, The note is D today because uh, we're on the D blues scale So I'm going to play the note concert D and if you'd just like to play some long tones or some twiddles or some harmony notes and um, Anything that you think will warm up your instrument and your fingers as well and perhaps your mind do concentrate on the playing Don't just sort of stare out the window when you're doing this <laughs> It's good to actually listen to the sound and to really focus in on it as well. So here we go uh, Let me get the old egg timer going and one two three four <laughs>
One, two, three, four, and finish. Yes, good, good, good. Uh, okay, and I can. Um, so that's the. Um, we've just warmed up our instruments a little bit there. Um, what we'll do now then is the uh, chromatic scale, and uh, we're going. This is the last time we'll do it um, for a little while as a increasing and decreasing scale. So just going up the notes. What I'd like to do, eventually, is to. <laughs> start adding uh, other little chromatic notes in it as well when I remember so um, we'll perhaps start that next week so if you want to start thinking about that so that's literally going up the scale but dropping down a semitone and going back up as well little patterns like that but just for now just today as usual we're just going to play the chromatic scale starting on concert D and going up uh, an octave just do that once uh, after four so all the way, just one octave up to the top. One, uh, one, two, three, four. And finish there. Let's do that again. After four, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do the descending now. So we're starting on the high concert D, descending to the low one after four. One, two, three, four. this time from the top to the bottom and back up to the top so starting on the high one after four just all the way down then up again one two three four time one two three four that's it and that's the chromatic scale but we are going to do one more and I do like to do a quick one just to finish off just it's always a good thing to do actually when you're practicing a scale then just write the end just do a real fast one and you might suddenly surprise yourself <laughs> um so 50 percent faster uh all the way um same pattern all the way down and up again after four one two three four Okay, good. Uh, that's the chromatic scale. Right, let's move on to the um, sheet now. So uh, grab your sheet or get it up on the screen or have a look at uh, my screen and we'll uh, see that it's the D blues scale. So very useful scale if you're um, not only playing the blues, it works over all sorts of uh, songs, even you can even play it over standards. 
uh, as well. So it's a, a great scale to get your fingers round and very similar to the minor pentatonic except it's got the extra sharp four note uh, tucked in between the um, third, uh, between the fourth and the fifth. So we're going to play the um, first two bars first of all. So concert D, blues scale. And I've just given it a little bit of a rhythm just for a bit of interest. And that's another good thing actually, practicing scales with a particular rhythm rather than just plodding all the way up in crotchets or quavers. So um, we're not swinging it, we're just playing it straight. So as written on the screen and uh, for the first two bars, and I think we will repeat it because you've got a bit of time to um, get ready for the, the repeat. So first two bars repeated. One, two, three, four. Um, if you can, depending on your instrument, if you'd like to try playing that in a different octave, let's do the same thing and uh, choose another octave. So um, here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's move on to the uh, descending scale now. So the same rhythmic pattern, but, uh, the blues scale descending from the high note. Here we go. So that's the bars, uh, bars three and four on the sheet. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, that's the blues scale um, in its sort of most basic form, just ascending and descending. Uh, we're now going to look at the um, second line on the sheet. So we're looking at the blues scale, but this time um, ascending in intervals, um, so working its way up, starting, returning to the root note in between each note, other note, each chord tone, uh, each scale note rather. <laughs> um, here we go. So just reading left to right the whole line, four bars, one two, three, four. Let's do that again after four. Two, three, four. scale broken down into three note cells um, so this is just climbing up the scale in three note patterns uh, it's a little not random but it's um, not quite a logical um, sequence but uh, it's just a way of breaking it up so you're not playing just just the scale I've just noticed on the tab that for in the first bar for guitarist the um, the three uh, could well be an eight on the a string if you're looking at the uh, the tab there so um, just if you want to keep it in the same little pocket as the previous examples so we're going to play left to right uh, all four bars this time again rather and uh, just literally as written here we go one two three four <laughs> Yeah, 
Okay, I'm just going to do that twice now, so repeat it uh, as well. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's just do that one more time. So just going to repeat it. So it'll be eight bars in total. One, two, three, four. Right, let's move on to those rhythmic phrases. And um, there's just one line of rhythmic phrases before we move on to a couple of extracts from well-known tunes, uh, or tunes rather, I shouldn't say well-known tunes, that's a bit presumptuous. Um, now the rhythmic phrases, uh, f there's four bars, they're four separate uh, rhythms, and um, they're all based on the second bar of the previous line, so they're all based on that little chromatic from the fourth to the flat and the fifth to the fifth um, sequence. So we're just extracting that part of the scale. Uh, so the first bar the, under rhythmic phrases is literally just going up and down in crotchets, the, those three notes. Um, and it's that middle one, the um, the sharp four or the flat five, depending on how you lo like to look at it, which is the distinctive one that the blue scale contains, which the other minor pentatonic doesn't, which is a very similar scale in terms of the notes. So we're looking at bar uh, one of rhythmic phrases, and we'll repeat it because it's a more straightforward enough so repeating bar one one two three four Mesmeric, isn't it? Um, and I think that's where the Batman theme comes from. Uh, right, moving on to the second bar. And um, again, just a little rhythmic pattern based on those same three notes. Let's just play it once, first of all, just to sort out the notes. Cause one, two, three, four. <laughs> Sing it as well. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. Singing can help you both um, get it right and also memorise it. So uh, if you can, if you haven't got something in your mouth at the time, <laughs> uh, let's re let's loop that second bar after four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> triplets here and uh, over the first two beats and then two beats of regular crotchets diddly diddly dum dum is the rhythm so after four just do that uh, third bar once first of all one two three four that's the rhythm here we go let's do it again one two three four time one two three four now let's loop it one two three four <laughs> 
Moving on to bar four of this line. And uh, again, another little rhythm. This one with semi quavers. And uh, here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Who recognizes that? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, let's loop it. One, two, three, extract from the uh, third man theme um, okay so let's do all four bars now yep it's gonna loop the whole all four bars just go around about three times rhythmic phrases four bars looped after four one two three four <laughs> Zorba the Greek next week. Okay, let's um, okay move on now to um, just one or two little extracts from tunes that some of you may recognise. Uh, this first three-bar sequence uh, riff is uh, from a tune called Burke's Works, which is by trumpet player Dizzy Gillespie, and um, a little extract from the blues scale as well, which is obviously why I've chosen it. Uh, okay, we'll just play the first three bars because it's one piece. Um, notice that it doesn't start until after it's one, two, three, da da da. Uh, okay, so let's play the first three bars. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Just listen to that again if you want to just internalize it. After three. One, two, three. That's from Burke's works, Dizzy Gillespie. Um, the next one is a bass riff, uh, which all bass players who go to uh, blues jams should know before they turn up. And it's the bass riff, which is used in uh, Black Magic Woman. And uh, um, when it's played actually with the song, you'd be moving it around the chord changes, but this is just based on the D scale, D minor scale. So, um, Let's play that riff. I think we'll just loop it and um, 
Yeah, so we're just going to play that. Boom. Do, 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 do. You should recognize this one. One, oops. One, two, three, four. And again. bass players and guitarists if they want to can play that riff over the chord sequence we've got coming up at the end of the um, session so because we'll be playing the chords from that song as well so that's uh, the black magic woman bass riff um, now here's a riff written um, by Jack Bruce actually on a double bass it was originally originally written as a jazz uh, bass line but it ended up in um, one of cream's uh, uh, hits with uh, Eric Clapton of course and it's uh, entirely based on the blues scale and so it's a riff from sunshine of your love um lots of tied notes so probably easier just to play it from by ear uh, unless you're a, a good reader so let's just play that riff we're going to play the sunshine of your love which is two bars uh looped one two three four thought because we played the bass riff from Black Magic Woman um, we could play the opening melody line very simple based on the um, D minor um, pentatonic scale or blue scale um, so let's just play those two um, bars the Black Magic Woman pair of bars again just use your ears if you want to just follow one two three four one <laughs> Three, four, one. Three, four, one. There we go. So it's just the opening couple of bars from the melody of Black Magic Woman. Right, good, good, good. That's that sheet um, completed. Let's move on now to the chords, final part of the session. And so we're going to strum through um, the chords. And they are to the song Black Magic Woman. But you can just treat it as a sort of a minor blues. Uh, in concert D minor um, so a number of things you can do as always you can use the D blues scale to improvise over it if you want to just play a solo uh, just just let the ideas flow or you can be a little bit more systematic and play chord tones or arpeggios um, the bass players and guitarists as well could play that bass riff all the way through just following the chords one riff per bar just make sure you follow the root notes and um, yeah, okay, plenty of things you can possibly do here or just strum along. So I'm just going to strum. Here we go. So one, well, it's one bar per um, chord there, and it's 12 bars in total. One, two, three, four. A minor. Next line, G minor. Back to the beginning. Two, three, four.
back to the beginning. Three, four. Da 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 da. Da 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 Finish on the root chord, D minor in this case, and there we have it. Okay, so nice to see. Um, oh, one of the biggest groups we've had for a long time, and uh, yeah, hello Barry. I see Barry's arrived. Good and Ray. Hello Ray and Martin's. Oh, hello, oh, hello Ray. Hi, oh, Chris. Hi. Yeah, do unmute yourself if you want to say uh, hello and goodbye. Rep tune under the wire there, Ray. I haven't listened to that one yet, but I will do. It's very right. good, Chris. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very thank much, you, everybody. See you all yeah. next week. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye,